For us, it's a big change coming into 24. We've had the big signing of Luke Clout. So for us, we've gone to a, a massive level that, you know, the highest level we've ever come. We've sort of been back and forth with Luke for a while, but the whole package has come together probably the last six or seven months, just meeting after meeting, and obviously there's more of a, a group like Brad McAlpine coming on board to make the, the pitch to Luke better um, and show him we are serious to go after a championship. And with Brad, like obviously we've been a, a mate for a while now as well, and he's a big part of the industry, so I've been back and forth, emails and conversations just to him trust their own brand. And I know obviously with, with Luke as well, he, they both work together in trust. So I had a good meeting with Brad and finally got him across the line. And then we all sat down with Luke and said, this is serious, like this is something you'd entertain. I think it was probably, I think this is our sixth year with Kawasaki now. It was just a small thing, having meetings after meetings. We, we didn't actually think we were going to get a deal with Cowie. Luckily we knew Darren Holmes and, you know, we on a good relationship as well. So he sort of put, a, put his head together and made it work to make the first meeting you'd say and then it sort of went from there and and now we're where we are yeah it's for a championship now for the last few years it's been a top five and now uh, with the signing of Luke we're going for a championship it's been awesome uh, we did do it in 2019 as well but just going back to the 250 there's a lot more work involved and the 450 riders I think are a lot more mature so they know what they want so that's been a massive help in that era I'd love to have two MX1 riders and both fighting with championships